Alrighty guys, so today we are having a different kind of video. Now, you guys probably see from the thumbnail as well as the title. I'm joined with the homie Giku. Giku, say what's up, my guy. Hello, hello. Alrighty, so like I said, today, different kind of video. We're going to be talking about pretty much the future of the game, even though it's not out yet, if that makes sense. Pretty much things that we want to see um, as the game you know, progresses, time goes on, all that good stuff. If you guys want to check out the previous video, which is going to be on Giku Shino, we talk about, you know, stuff that, you know, release date, all that stuff. So please go check it out. Show him love and support, okay? It's basically like a 20-minute rant on Black Clover's, like, current <laughs> state. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. So guys, go show him some love, support, subscribe to him, all that stuff. He is also the one running the Twitter account for Black Clover Mobile, so that is awesome. If you guys want to go follow him over there, please, please do, okay? So today... Few topic, few topics. Um, big ones, yes, big topics. Yes. Uh, summons, summon, summon, summon. Now the summoning system. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it, man? Uh, I think like in the beta, it, we're gonna talk about beta. Then like obviously, uh, yeah. The, the recent info, right? So beta, I think it was okay. I I think it was good, just except for the pity system. That was the only thing I didn't like. Very yeah. weird. I hated. You do what like about like 11 multis and then you get that pity only for it to be a skill page nah nah not yeah, fun I, not I fun. was I was not the biggest fan of that at all honestly um I really I really really wanted them to take out skill cards from the banner and just make it to where you can like farm them in like events or something kind of yeah. similar to like um, it like kind of similar to how oh, Honkai right so in this video we're gonna mm -hmm. be comparing Honkai a lot so just, just yeah. fair warning um, but I was really hoping they would do kind of something where like Honkai does where they do give you weapon cards for free, you know, so um, if At least like um, three star one like Low investment ones should be good. I think maybe like not free But they could do low investment ones easily. Yeah, for sure And will, what, what I mean by free like in a free-to-play manner to where like we can farm them They're like events yeah, and stuff okay. like that. Mm -hmm. Like me like that would be cool. That would be really or, cool yeah, exactly. They so do they do do that already, though. That's the th like they have some. I remember there was one in the arena shop. It gave uh, crit rate and crit damage. That one was okay. I think that like it wasn't that important in the beta because you know it was like week one. You know we didn't really like we couldn't build our characters too much. Yeah. But that one w would probably be good if you just want to give like a stat stick. Yeah. I'd say. The only problem though with skill pages is that everyone has a unique one everyone yeah. even like rares and sr so like compared to star rail in terms of that only the five stars if i like i'm thinking correctly only the five stars technically have like a unique uh like a weapon or like a light cone mm -hmm. but in this game everyone has one so like they might be the best in slot for everyone which kind of sucks yeah Man, I, I don't know, dude. I just, I really hope they figure out the summoning system. Now, the good thing is mm -hmm. that we've kind of already seen the summon system in a way when it came to the global side, apparently. So, yeah. we just don't know rates, right? That I, I think that is the one thing that people they were are looking forward towards. In the three uh, percent in the uh, beta, mm -hmm. so I think it could be three percent. Three percent isn't bad if they give us a lot of currency, which they did. Yeah, but if they true. don't give us a lot of currency, it's bad. It's very bad. Especially yeah. if pity isn't good, because like three percent is like we'll obviously step up. We'll talk about step ups in a bit, but you know, like uh, three percent currency is like uh, uh, rates is like Grand Cross, and Grand Cross has like a good pity, and like same thing with uh, Honkai slash Genshin. Yeah. They've got uh, a ninety summon pity or nine multi pity mm -hmm. with one point six percent rates. So I think that if Black Clover Mobile uh, has a pity, a good pity at least, then it'll be good. Now. The thing is, I don't think there's gonna be like a good pity on non step up banners because step up banners exist. Yeah, it would Which be I don't, weird. I don't mind. I don't mind though. I don't mind yeah. it. I like step up banners. It, yeah. So like step ups, bro. <laughs> that Charlotte was so good. It was so good that they like that system for a step up was like the best I've ever seen ever. Yeah, it was really, nothing really good. That, nothing compares to it. Seven multis. Two are half off, so technically the cost of six mm -hmm. to get the character guaranteed. Yep. Crazy. So on the topic Absolutely. of summons. Yeah. Topic of summons, seasonal units. We know Ooh. that these were like insanely, insanely, insanely difficult to pull, and they were mm -hmm. like all three of them were broken. You dude. still managed to get one. You cannot talk. 
I know. I, I just played the clip on, on my video. So actually <laughs> insane, bro. Free to play luck right there. Yeah, it, it was crazy, dude. But I was t I was telling you know my viewers and stuff like that. I was saying when re rolling, don't try to hunt for them just because like their rates are no. so atrociously oh low. And also like, keep in mind that we're also having the gateway of destiny, so we get one of them for free, right? So which is like to be super fair, super poggers. That's awesome. Re rolling in this game, they want to do it. It's gonna take one click to just press that button and there you go you got your reroll multi so like oh yeah yeah true. you know you got true, four true. instances that's 80 multis right there that is true yeah <laughs> they get that uh like multi instance on blue stacks 80 multis and then you know probably in one they'll be able to keep the account so like i think for that if they do want to they can but they won't really need to but the thing is like 0.06 percent rates was abysmal yeah it was oh my <laughs> like, god <laughs> i got so lucky oh <laughs> six yes you don't realize bro. like it actually, I got two of the seasonals, one through the Gateway of Destiny, and two from that free, like, uh, choose a seasonal. Yeah, I remember the free so, ticket, yeah. I, th you know, I think I got, like, from, like, pulls, I think. Mm -hmm. If not, I didn't get any from multis. So, I think they might need to increase it to, like, point tw uh, 12 per seasonal. Could be a lot better. Yeah. But that would also, like, take increasing rates. But honestly, it really depends on currency overall. In yeah, my opinion, true. yeah, because like if they give us enough multis, like anyone could get lucky, and like I mean, like to be fair, anyone could get shafted if there's no pity. So I think the main thing is pity for like a certain way. I think that a um tower fantasy type pity where like you um pull and then like for each pull, you get like one token, and then you need a certain amount of tokens to buy the character could be like that. That would be fine, yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be actually really, really cool. Yeah, and then Step Up has its, like, separate pity where you get it guaranteed. So I think that, like, those two are going to be good. Now, uh, I want to talk a bit about the rotational system for, uh, like, how that works and, like, how they said there was going to be, like, a rotating battery system. And yeah, so we didn't get to see from that screenshot, like, we didn't get to see, like, when these rotations were happening, right? Mm -hmm. I'm guessing one to two week periods. Uh, I think that would be best. Usually that's update times for gotchas, you know, you've got like, uh, well, regular gotchas. Like I'm not talking about Star Rail or Genshin. Usually like in mainstream, like uh, traditional gotchas, you'll have updates every one to two weeks mm -hmm. that are successful at least. So I think that uh, if they do that, it could be good. But I'm like, I was like looking at it. I'm like, why was Fauna the step up? Yeah, that was weird. That was interesting you got, to see as You got well. Yami and Lich in that image, and Fauna was the step up. So I was thinking, maybe it rotates with the step up also. Oh yeah, so, like, that'd be interesting. Every week, it changes, and it, it could be a lot of different things. But all depending on how like the step up works, the summoning system could either be like a seven out of ten or a ten out of ten. Yeah, that's true. Because I love the idea of being able to like snipe your character. Mm hmm. I love it. I love it. And um, if we go by the rates of um, the beta, it's going to be 1.5% for the featured unit and then 1.5% for the rest. 1.5% is pretty good. I'd say like it's better than actually, you know what? It's better than literally like almost every single gotcha to get like a featured unit because uh, Dokkan, it's 0.5. Legends, it's 0.5. Mm -hmm. Grand Cross, it's like 0.25 or 0.5. Genshin, it's Genshin Star Rail, I don't even want to talk about yeah. <laughs> the chance. So I think that like uh, giving us like a 1.5% chance is insane to me. I think that like doing a 50-50 would be good because in the beta for the Yami and um, William banner, it was 0.75 for each. So yes, let's was, say there's yeah. one featured, it would be 1.5, right? Mm -hmm. So that's like the numbers to like get that. But I'd say that that would be amazing. <laughs> Honestly, that would be amazing. Yeah, that would be really, really cool. So while I, we're on really the topic like of units and stuff like yeah. that, dupe system. Oh, dupe, oh, dupe oh, system. oh, oh. So, um, that's the one part I hated about the beta is when you pull a dupe, you wanted to just, you were pissed. You were very pissed. Yeah. So, so you guys all know how the dupe system in the beta works, right? Pretty much, we just needed to have one copy of the unit and we can get them all the way up from SSR to LR completely for free, right? We didn't need yep, to summon I'm... for any more dupes mm -hmm. or anything like that. We just simply played the game and through the affinity system, which you just used the characters, that's all it was, um, you were able to get more <laughs> copies of the unit all the way up to LR. I was just leaving it on overnight 
I'd uh -huh. wake up, I'd see a uh, Bon 10, I'd be Pog, and then I'd get him LR. Like that's the, that literally was the cycle. You pull the unit, you go to sleep with auto on, you wake up and then you see them at affinity 10. Yeah, exactly. So not fun. I'm not, I'm saying that that was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> now I, I know the bond that... system was good. Bond system was good. Cause you got like 300 to 400 gems per character. Mm -hmm. Take out shards, take out shards, give us more gems. Yeah, that's true. Now I know like for free to play players, y'all are probably thinking like, oh my gosh, that's like the best thing in the world. You know, I just need to summon yeah. once for a character uh -huh. and then after that I'm chilling. Yes, that's a good thing, but also no, because you guys understand this is a company at the end of the day. They got to figure out the way to make money somehow. And Perfect while example. there is not True. real time PVP, which mm -hmm. I think some, I mean, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, you want to make it to where there is some kind of like, I guess, unfairness in a gotcha. For money. Yeah, like, exactly. You first off need a lifeline, and second off, like there needs to be something for whales to feel like a comp or like feel rewarded for summoning. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah. perfect example, Dragalia, Dragalia lost. I'm pretty sure uh, I didn't play, but I know that game was very free to play, which is kind of why it shut down. The only reason why, because mm -hmm. everyone loved that game. I never heard people like mad about it, except for the fact it was too free to play. A free to a too, like a game that's too free to play is not good at all. Yeah, exactly. Because they need to make money. And guys, listen, I know you want to stay free to play, but you also want to be able to play the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So and we, we already know that the, the goal of these devs, they want to make bank. Like, I think they want to oh, make yeah. like what? Like, Their goal 70 in total million? is 70 to 80 million. That's like, thing is though, uh, when he and that's per month, by the way. with extra, no, no, it was not per month. It was, oh, uh, it was just like a goal to hit. Oh, and okay. he was also, uh, out of detail, I remember reading that, um, he was saying it in a joking manner in the interview, mm -hmm. so it wasn't like it wasn't like uh, he wasn't meaning it completely. But I yeah. think it was something that like kind of like it was a goal for him to reach that he wasn't like 100 percent sure if they could reach. That's how I interpreted it. But I think they could easily reach it if like you know they fix the dupe system. Because I think okay, how do we want the dupe system to be? Let, let's kind of get into that because I think there's many ways for them to go about it. So. If I were to have my own like way for the dupe system, yeah, how would I even want it to be honest? Let's say okay, they take off the dupes from Bond. Bond, no more dupes. What okay. do you do with the dupe system? Dupe system, then. Well, I'll I don't give know. two scenarios. What, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Okay, first I'll give two scenarios for how I want it. First off, they keep the dupes in the Bond system. You mm -hmm. get your four from there. You get your character to LR. Then either in talents, kind of like Dokkan, there's a potential system where you mm -hmm. get extra if you have dupes. That could be one, but I think for a PvP game, that would be very toxic to just straight up have extra stats. Yeah. And since the developer came from Grand Cross, they could easily make an ultimate, uh, like an ultimate system where you kind of like want to max out the ultimate to do more damage. Yeah. That could be something. Could be very bad for the game though, in my opinion. So I think they have to take out um the dupes from the like affinity system that that was for if like affinity system had dupes if it doesn't have dupes first off leveling should not need dupes i think that it should just be a lot harder to get to lr but yeah. it should not need dupes i think maybe if you want to like have like you know those like the four leaves you have to get to get to like the awakening yeah 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 that should take dupes but it should like you're able to use like the uh like the like uh wild card type things where like, yeah, you like the universal those, like, dupes, uh, yeah yeah the universal ones that's the name so you could use that and then dupes could be like i don't know because like they actually f themselves over for making it to where like dupes is for uh rarity now if they do want to like make it to where you get extra stats pvp cannot allow like dupes i think make it yeah. like a tower fantasy situation yeah i know this is I something i was personally, talking about personally. as well I'm, I'm just hoping that when they do or if they decide to release pvp is somewhat balanced in a way i mean mm -hmm. even though pvp is never truly going to be balanced you know yep. it's always yeah it's going to cater to the whales obviously but just have it to where like the dupe system isn't a huge part of it if that makes sense you know i agree uh i don't think it should i honestly i played tower fantasy for like I was grinding for a month, okay? And then I played more casually afterwards. PvP in that game was done very well. It's just you didn't feel rewarded to kind of 
buy like uh spend more because basically they gave everyone everything so like everyone had all the constellations unlocked everyone was like maxed out right that mm -hmm. is a fun way to go about it but also an unrewarding way to go about it so you know the way we're talking about it right now um they're kind of screwed not gonna lie they really did bad in my opinion on uh making it to where dupes affect your leveling yeah so i think they have to find a new way and if they make it for skill pages ah uh, yeah i, I would not actually, be the, i would not no, be the biggest no, fan dude no i'm not trying to max out a skill page i'm sorry first off skill pages like barely gave anything so you know it's not like the craziest thing um yeah. next i uh, just a little tidbit looking in the files uh you were there were ssr skill pages for unique characters that would go to ur might be a bit of a predatory system so hoping it isn't yeah i'm hoping it's not shoot so like i think they have so much and uh they they might be going a bit too unique about it not gonna lie because it's to the point where it's like duping isn't the best but if i were to try and change it like take it out of the bond system bond system should give us more current or uh, more uh, gems and then maybe i think the best way honestly is just alt like it's it's not the best but it, it's the best if not do a dokkan type thing i think yeah. just like <laughs> increasing stats for dupes is, is honestly the best way to go and yeah, like i feel like that maybe, would probably be the best way to go about doing yeah it. if not you know maybe they want to do a like a genshin type thing but to be fair their games are pve so like there's a big difference yeah very very bad but honestly thing is this game is very free to play people could easily get the dupes and then everyone's chilling because in the uh step ups you were able to redo it five times so you know everyone's gonna be able to get at least like two out of five or three out of five right so mm -hmm. i think that if they want to the best way is either stats or alt that's the two ways i'm saying yeah I, I i agree i i think i like it that way as well i think it would work i don't think they can do another way yeah. <laughs> i i just <laughs> They kind of, they, they didn't do well, I think, on uh, doing that. But they've had five months. Maybe they've changed it. We have not seen anything on dupes. So Yeah, we have not, actually. We'll see. It's... To be fair, uh, the showcase, those, like, two videos, the Korean videos, mm -hmm. uh, they did have, like, the same type of awakening. But we did not see, uh, like, them getting it to, like, a UR. So, like, SSR to UR. So, we don't know if they changed it. But... Uh, in the affinity system and the like uh, what, what is it called i know it's not affinity was it like affection like, uh, I, um, been, I think affection yeah i don't remember yeah it's been five months like come on <laughs> anyway like affection system i think where yeah. we like you know everyone everyone else anyway um there was still the dupes which was like the big thing that we saw so i think they need to take it out or just like find another way to add more because i think that if they do want to keep the leveling system as it is having those dupes for that is good and then once you're lr you could dupe out your character because like that would be the best way to do it yeah to keep it as like free to play in a way because mm -hmm. like you need five dupes to get to lr and once you're lr you could use those dupes i think that's fair yeah so it's you know a lot of things but it's not looking good yeah <laughs> let's just let's just hope that they figure it out day one and that we you know it's solid that's what we, that's yeah. the only thing we, ju we just sit and wait that's pretty much all we can do right uh-huh it really is it really is sadly all right so let's move on to the story pace right the story adaptation mm -hmm. of black clover and so like that yes. so we know that from screenshots that we've seen so far we got up to chapter five which is going to be the seabed story arc Yep. No. With Veto fighting Veto and then earlier on, you know, we've got the uh, Kahono, Kiato, those guys. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it Did is. Did you close. like that arc? Like, I liked it. It was, it was okay. It wasn't like to me. It's not like my the favorite double part, arc, you know, obviously, but <laughs> yeah. But my favorite part was like when you saw Vanessa, fin uh, yeah, Finro, and uh, was it Magna or Ghost? Those three, they teamed up to like try and beat v uh, Veto. To me, oh, that yeah, is like top five Black Clover moments for me because like it just like. It was cool so i think that like they have a lot uh for like at least this arc in the later part mm -hmm. especially because like they built noel up and all that so i think that you know they could do a lot it's good to have on launch but also like that's like the fifth arc out of like 10 11. yeah right i think um how just... do you think they're gonna go about like adapting like the pace for adapting 
I don't know. Let, so let's just say that we get all five chapters, you know, right off the bat, day one. You know, you yep. can farm out the game play as much if as it, you it's like. It's in the app store. They're yeah. clickbaiting if it isn't. They're clickbaiting. Right? <laughs> like. So we'll have all five chapters day one. We can mm -hmm. grind, grind, grind. Hopefully, I mean, in the sense, since, you know, we have Green Cross people working on it, let's hope they update it, you know, at a timely manner. I don't know how Green Cross updates go anymore. It's been a um, very, very long time I played the game. But they updated what, what, pretty is, regularly. what is their, like, update system? I don't remember like exactly, but I feel like they updated it like regularly enough, like mm. maybe three to four months. But the thing is with this game, there's a lot more content, so they don't have to stretch it as thin. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, I, I mean, if they want to do it good. like, you know, like, yeah, like every two months or so, I feel like that would be good. Maybe yeah. three months just so, um, and plus no. like they could do, they could do maybe like, you know, original characters. They could do, you know, I don't want, events. I honestly, I don't want OCs because there's already enough characters. That is true. That is true. Like in this game, we, yeah, we've got a lot of forms characters and like a lot we haven't seen yet. Even like there's already 50 something characters uh, that we've like had shown to us, plus mm -hmm. like another two in like promotional uh, images. So they've already got that, but <laughs> there's at least another 60 to 70 they could do. Yeah. So I, we're chilling for characters. No OCs, in my opinion. I don't want OCs. Um, but going back to like story wise, that those first five arcs um, encompass maybe like 20 percent of the actual story because <laughs> yeah, royal knights and elf arc is like crazy long yeah it, like, it is just very, very long. <laughs> royal knights is probably as long as the first five arcs i think so i yeah. think in terms of like amount of story we should be fine if they pace it maybe like they update story or like big arcs or big like moments for big celebrations they could do like themed celebrations would be cool um on launch i think that having five chapters is pretty good i mentioned this in our video a bit but we could go a bit more in depth in this video since we're talking about story um five chapters okay the first three we it took us about like five five days four five days i think yeah we were uh, we were grinding about. heavily but yeah it took us yeah five, we like, were four day, or five and days night, or so. day and night yeah um thing is now we have uh you know we don't i don't think we mind spending story tickets if they're still in the game that i don't want to discuss we're going to be on it for way too long yeah <laughs> <laughs> story story tickets anyway was bad but i think they might keep it um hopefully with more like regeneration time or like quicker yeah. so it took us like three four five days uh i like how star has it though where like you have to get to a certain level but i don't think they might i don't think they're going to do that with this game honestly i, I just don't see it yeah, um that'd be kind of weird yeah I so like they'll just let people play at their own pace you know regardless of like level yeah and all that if the first three arcs took us like four or five days i think the two other arcs is going to take us like another week or two probably because yeah. like um the uh what's it called the midnight sun arc was very long because it was like separated into three. First mm -hmm. part was just like more introduction then we got to like uh there was no fights at the beginning really for like 10 episodes no fights i remember watching it not much then we got more to like the Sally fight, which, you know, started to ramp up. We saw Nage, we saw, um, I think his name was Baro. Uh, and then we got to like the Yami fight, which, you know, yeah, that, that was something. <laughs> that, that was something. So, that was something. you know, that, that in itself was pretty long. But then we got the Veto arc, which was insanely long because that that's like separated into like four parts, mm -hmm. like three, actually three long parts. First off is like the introduction to like Kiato and Kohono, and then they go underworld, or uh, like underwater. Then they fight those ten people. Then Vettel comes in, and that is gonna yeah. take a while to get through. A while, you know that Vettel fight is gonna be like twenty phases, oh, twenty story sure, tickets, yeah. five without days to get through, bro. Okay, with, so doubt, yeah, it is gonna take some time. So I think like if they keep at least like two weeks of content for that, it's gonna be good mm -hmm. because you know Star Rail we just finished, right? I'm about to finish. I gotta you know get through that last part. You finished today. Took us about maybe like two, uh, about two weeks, a bit less, because it came it's out. A, it's a, it took me a week. It took me a week because I, I just claimed my okay. last three six tickets. Yeah. So, yeah, so it took me a week you know, to finish out the sword. Yeah, and we're gonna be playing a lot more on Black Clover Mobile. Uh, yeah. a lot more, a lot, lot, a lot more. So, hopefully, it lasts us like a week or two, probably a, two weeks. Um, I honestly think that uh, because it's not in beta. I don't think story tickets are that predatory, in my opinion. Yeah. Personally, because like you know they want to space it out. So if it's their way of spacing it out, I'm fine with that. I think story is gonna be good. Pacing hopefully is good. I think Elf Arc, we should only see past like 
one year like 1.5 Addy. I don't think we should see it any sooner than that. I think Royal Knights Arc and Witch Arc should easily take us a year. Yeah. Probably. I I think at least. What do you think about that? No, no, I agree. Yeah, that'd be good. But they have to pace it well. Yeah, and they do. To be they, fair, they can't pace it too fast. If they uh, they release like spanking the market and all that, we're fine for years to come. <laughs> years yeah, like we're chilling, sure. we're, chilling, we're chilling we're chilling i think we're chilling for black clover a lot more than grand cross and of course we're mentioning grand cross because story system is pretty much exact same in that game to this game yep yeah so, almost like one-on-one yeah. -on -one, so yeah even like the exploration parts you know in grand cross it exists too but black clover mobile especially like the kingdom it's a lot bigger so i like that personally i do like that a lot more yeah all right so let's move on to our final topic which is going to be the combo system right now we also got game modes to talk about after for like ones we wish for so oh, yeah, yeah, we'll talk yeah, about right. that too let's, let's, we'll let's talk, talk about, about the combo system first and then we'll move yeah, on to yeah, game modes because yeah. i this I really do okay i need to go i need to go off for a minute i i really like i'm hoping the combo system is done in a way that could make characters very fun and want you to summon for them more mm -hmm. so like you know we talked about this a bit before but like not really in depth so like you know if care i don't remember how it worked in the beta because you only had one combo <laughs> so you know uh and it was also like not the best right we didn't really utilize it i yeah. don't remember if like it gave a boost like to what happened or like the combo itself so like you know does like certain things in a combo if he was paired with asta it did more i don't know yeah no so on the um, on the um wiki actually there yeah. is it does say that there was like a special unique like addition to the combo of both you're talking about the sr asa and sr unit yes right? exactly that one yeah so on the what is it on the united they it call up. it united attack um so apparently okay, that's good all attacks are done as critical strikes removes barrier and invulnerability from an enemy target so there was okay. no other you know united attack within the game there was just only those two. Oh, so i see no it. one yes. else had it i mean everyone else could do you know character combos but not like not like how also and you know could okay i see it um mm -hmm. this is actually really good and yeah no uh okay perfect perfect then actually thank you so much okay nice so that means that in the future uh they could do very fun things with this for like banners just mm -hmm. imagine like you get um a banner with like spirit of zephyr and black divider for like first annie 1.5 annie 2.2 2 annie whatever you get those type of banners this we're eating so much we're, time, we're, dude. they're cooking they're cooking i think that that's gonna be so fun and the way they do combos could be great and we already know they have like i think six five 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 uh sorry six yeah so the fuego and noza one seven sorry okay yeah seven fuego noza one the jack and yami one the asta mm -hmm. and you know one Okay, start uh, the luck in Magna one. We've got the Mimosa and Noel one. We've got the Mars and Lotus one that was seen in like a screenshot. And was there another one? I feel like there was. I don't, I don't really remember. remember though. Yeah. Let me let me pull up. Sorry for that keyboard. So uh we had Jack uh and Yami. We had Fuego Nozel. We had Mimosa Noel. Luck Magna. There's six. Asta, you know, and then Lotus Mars. Those were the six. Pretty cool. I like I'm really excited for the Lucky and Magna one. Cause like if they get that one scene in, I'm ready. Yeah, absolutely. So that very cool. I think the combo system is like what could easily differentiate them from other gacha games. So definitely they need to execute it very well. And like yeah, make I it for so. big banners to where mm -hmm. like, it's themed. Like dual dual banners would be great. Yeah, that'd be pretty Clover cool. Fest, we're ready. We're ready for them. Yeah. <laughs> So definitely uh could be a very good system and i think it, it will be it will be yeah. very cool yep all right so game modes yeah no i know I, I i know that people are gonna ask and i know that people are always gonna ask until we get it real-time pvp this is something that i don't know i i want it but then again i don't want it what what are your thoughts on real-time pvp because we already um, we already have you know call it ai pvp bot pvp arena we'll will, just call yeah. it arena. arena arena is not right? pvp so it's two yeah. different things um okay i know i'm like one of the only people i really liked arena like i see everyone like talking about it and like saying it was long i just liked it a lot i don't know what it was it might have been a, like a bit long they could easily make it shorter but i liked arena a lot really i get that it's not against 
actual people. Yeah. And to me, that is a big thing too, because it's a lot more fun when you're fighting an actual person who has mm -hmm. a brain and won't target real. <laughs> so, you know, like you used real and bot PVP, he's going to be a lot better. Obviously he doesn't have a counter anymore, but like, let's say, okay, he had his counter. Real will be a lot better in bot PVP than actual uh, PVP because of his counter, right? They target real. Thing is, people will play a lot differently if uh, they know that real has his counter up, right? If there's a counter unit, people will not target them. So but, uh, actual PVP should be added. I think there should mm -hmm. be something, honestly, they add it, give barely any rewards, make it that you only play if you want to play, and then have bot PVP give a ton of rewards. That's how I think it should be. Don't think uh, actual PVP should have that many rewards. Maybe I, they I give feel, out I like feel, I feel the same way, but complete opposite. I feel like real-time PVP is going to be where everyone's going to want to be at, like all the action and stuff like yeah. that. And like, you know, competition is going to be a huge thing, especially anytime there's real-time PVP, people are always going to want to try to go for that rank one, you know, whale out, all that stuff. So I feel like if we do get real-time PVP, the rewards are going to have to compensate for, I guess, I guess the whales, right? Because always, yeah. always, you know, be whales fair. are going to dominate um, real-time PVP. We could so, always look to Grand Cross, and Grand Cross is like the best PvP system until like Black Clover came around, you know? But, uh, <laughs> so like, uh, I think PvP could definitely, I think, I feel like uh, the developer at least, uh, Mr. Choi, should know what worked and what didn't work in Grand Cross, and I think he knows that PvP worked in Grand Cross, and getting a lot of rewards is what is the only reason that the game's still running today. Only yeah. reason. 100%. So... I feel like having actual PvP, and it's also not that it cannot be that hard for him to have actual PvP in the game. Yeah, I don't knows, think so. He's already done it once. He's done it once. Yeah, he could do it again. Plus, easily. with how this game is working out too, I feel like it's very capable of being done. Yeah. So, especially because one, it's a turn base. Two, um, netcode should probably like he should already be like decently aware of how like to not handle netcode in terms of like lagging and stuff. Mm -hmm. Only difference is in uh this game bit different than grand cross because grand cross it's like people choose three cards at once and boom turn by turn you won't be having like a million turns where in black clover they're, they're, they're gonna stretch out and like that could be the only thing like taking a while yeah so besides real-time pvp something else i want to see is definitely co-op dude i think yeah, co-op would be so funny in this game like was like raids and stuff because we yeah. already like we already confirmed that there are going to be guilds in the game and there is a mm -hmm. section for guild wars so we know that Guild Wars was, Guild, uh, was there Guild Wars or Guild Boss? Was it? I, mean, I, think, I think it was Guild okay, Boss. I, I think it was Guild Boss. Yeah, sorry. Guild Boss was okay, definitely a okay, thing. Okay. Um, but Guild Wars yeah. is something I would love to see as well. I feel like that would be so fun going up against oh, other, yeah. you know, friends' guild and stuff. But co-op definitely something I want to see. You know, it engages the players more. You know, people have like more fun time and like you get to play with your friends, content creators, all yeah. that stuff. So please make it a thing. Um, but if for some reason we don't get real-time pvp at least let us fight our friends i feel like that would be so cool you know yeah um i gotta say just one thing from the arena i i was going through the videos that i recorded uh i saw one i was fighting blade i was winning mm -hmm. and then that glitch that one freezing glitch where you can't oh yeah <laughs> you can attack if that's still there on launch um you're gonna be hearing about it from me you are gonna be hearing about it i cannot handle winning only to not, well, being in like about to win, freezing, restarting the match, and losing. Yeah, that was. That is the most aggravating thing ever. Yeah, I cannot like happen. They, they, if they don't like fix that, it's over. It's it's actually over. It's going to kill the game, I think, yeah. personally. Let's hope they fix it. One thing they have to fix, they really have to fix it. Alrighty, but that I is think, for sure. think that is everything we wanted to talk about in today's video. Anything yeah. else you want to speak on? Um. Just excited for the game, and the more game modes they have, the better it is. Honestly, just yeah, give us sure. more game modes as long as it doesn't create too much FOMO. I don't think FOMO is good in any game, not a healthy relationship. Yeah. So try to make it to where, like, if they do have more game modes, make it to where it's more fun than have it, than taxing to the players. Don't don't over create, uh, don't overstimulate us with game modes. To where they're not fun but we need to get we need to do them for the rewards similar to legends or grand cross because grand cross has a lot of events that are in front legends has co-op which is uh, a barrier for equipment in that game yeah. don't do anything like that they cannot do that if they do that the game will not do as good as it can easily yeah 
Yep, 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 yep. All right, well, Giku, thanks for being on, my guy. Of course, thank you for fun. coming on my you guys channel. Want to see, too. If you guys want to see this type of content where Giku and I like do like, you know, weekly or like monthly convos about the game, let us know. Dude, this will be, be so fun. Like, like honestly, I like this. Yeah. I like this. Next, next time we do this, the game better be out. It better be out. Hope, I'm I, telling you. It better you. be out, dude. <laughs> it needs to. If it isn't, I swear to God. All right, guys, oh, I'm going to end it there. Remember, Giku does have a video where we talk about, you know, the release date and all that stuff. So please go check it out. Show them some love, support, and subscribe if you guys are new. We are both gaining subs. I am like mm -hmm. 30 subs away from 2K. So subscribe. Go down there, subscribe. Like, and go subscribe. subscribe, and turn on that bell, guys. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'll link everything in the description uh, to Giku's Twitter, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll end it there. Thanks, guys. See you guys.